Hey Cloud Gamers, today we are having a look at Can It Run Crisis Cloud Edition. So we've got Shadow PC on the left and Maximum Settings on the right. Crisis Remastered is now available to buy on Epic Game Store, so we couldn't resist having a look to see how well the cloud gaming rigs perform with this historic PC killer. It's great to see it revamped and they really have gone all out on this game again. As you can see, I've got this on the Can It Run Crisis mode which is the highest possible settings, but I'm only running at 1920 by 1080. You can see here, just as I'm looking over this little town for the infiltration section, that both rigs are already struggling to hold even 30 frames per second, and Shadow even dipping into the 10 to 20 range there. And this is consistent for both platforms, but Shadow PC is really struggling with this one. You can see the GPU regularly hitting up to that 100% mark and using less RAM of that of the maximum settings rig. Maximum settings is using the 2080 Super here, so you would expect it to be a bit higher quality, and that's what you get. So we're going to switch over to some just Shadow PC gameplay. So you can see that full screen, and you can see that Shadow PC really does struggle here. I will be retesting this game on medium and very high settings of the two below the Can It Run Crisis mode. And a lot of people think that this game is badly optimised, but if you don't know the history of Crisis, Crisis did something very different and this is why it's a PC killer, and this is why people always try to run this game on the best rigs possible. What you may or may not notice, especially through this comparison, is that when I'm driving around and jumping into areas, there are no load screens. All the environment that you can see, you can pretty much travel to, and it is rendered kind of real time as you drive around or as you move around and there are many different routes to the same place. This is the biggest challenge for Crisis and many of the rigs that try to run this at a high quality and you can see that the 1080 here does struggle to hold on the highest graphical settings. It is well worth picking up the remastered edition and this will test your rig to the maximum and future rigs to come. As we switch over to the maximum settings 2080 Super then, we can see that quality is definitely a bit higher in the surrounding areas and also up close on the vehicles and stuff here. But as you'll notice as we start driving around, the water effects are absolutely phenomenal and the lighting effects through the trees, although the trees aren't as great as they could be here because of that resolution drop. You will notice those frames per second hit the floor quite quickly. On top of that, the collision systems where you can basically cut down all the trees, you can destroy buildings, pretty much everything is destructible in Crisis if you haven't played it before. And you can see that massive dynamic contrast between the white beaches and in, through the trees there. You can see that as we're hitting that gunfight, we're dropping into that 30 frames and less mark again, especially as we look through the clear water and jump around to see those bullet effects. This is supposed to be a stealth game. Obviously, if you can get it right, you can go into a max power mode and just power through, but you do die pretty quickly, so caution is definitely advised. And it's always quite fun to put on your cloak suit, go around the back of people and either melee them because they go flying, or surprise them. As we go into the final section back to side by side, again you can see just how much that shadow PC is struggling here. You really do need the infinite or ultra to run this at semi-smooth graphics. And I don't think that either of these rigs are going to handle 1440 or 4K in the slightest. Maybe on the lower end settings, but definitely not at this Can It Run Crisis mode. And it'll be very interesting to see when the 30 series becomes the norm and in cloud gaming rigs, how well that performs. We've seen some initial benchmarks of the 3080 managing to hold above 30 frames per second in the benchmark of Crisis. 
but it'll be good to see that in some real world play. The 2080 is definitely playable, but you're not going to be able to play it on the complete maximum settings, and I would not advise playing it on 1440 or 4K at this time until there is either some patches or you can get a more powerful graphics card. I'll leave you with a bit more of the side by side gameplay just so you can see those differences and the crisis gameplay if you've not had it before. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms and I will see you next time. Let's go! 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 Let's go!